Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using a special submod for Italy called Elvien La Vittoria e Nostra. Now I don't speak Italian, but we're led by a guy with a really cool hat. That's just a casual dude named Benito, but we need to talk about our destined by fate is sounding for us. There's our perilous times for the Kingdom of Italy, and of course the rest of Europe. Only those with their heads in the sand would fail to see the gathering storm as a beloved duce of his great nation. The people looked to you to build a great empire. The spirit of irredentism has been stoked in a nation. The mutilated victory of the great war has seared a desire for war into the psyche of the Italian people. The king, however, is not convinced that war is in her best interest. You must navigate with the relationship with his majesty carefully. The king has the power to dispose your regime and should we lose his favor, or in the fires of war lose control of the fatherland, we would no doubt dismiss our government. Choose a course of action for the kingdom of Italy wisely. Our industry and our military lag behind the other great powers of Europe. Our generals and admirals are convinced that war with the allies would be disastrous for Italy. Will you prove them wrong? Through various actions, you can correct our industry and improve our military. These steps are necessary if we were to secure a place at the head of the table. La Vittoria è nostra. So, we're doing expand the IRI. The Institutio per la Reconstruzione Industriale uh, currently controls nearly 50% of all capital in the Kingdom of Italy. To empower our economy, we must further empower the RI. Our IRI. Only through a strong centralized economic holding camp company can we fully realize the Italian dream. They are the national spirits. Victor Emmanuel III. The king has the power to dispose of the regime. A Stato Maggiore General. Which is, eh, not great. Uh, underdeveloped industry, which sucks, which we're trying to improve right now. International condemnations. Oh, well. And then tank duopoly. Oh. Well, that's not good. So we're doing that one right now. Um, So we can do end of the dictatorship. So for this path, I know that a certain Dunehammer Gaming has gone down. I believe he's done approach to central power, so let's not go down that way. Now, I want to let you know, for this campaign, we are going ahistorical. And look at the focus here. This looks really awesome. Like, Italy first. The Hour of Fate. This will concern the king. Um, We can eventually do, like, a Romanetes, or the Roman Union. Versus Italian Empire, and the sun shall never set. Look at that icon. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. Uh, so, yeah, we have options here. And we also start for the military. Like This also says, we can only make one branch of the military our primary focus. Choosing this focus will bypass the first focus of the other branches. So basically, we can reform the Regio Esercito, military, and which will bypass this one, which is... Honestly? Hmm. I guess you get this for two years anyways. And then this one's only for two years anyways. Versus this one, which is... Actually, Naval Primacy. You get this, these bonuses permanently. Not for two years. Naval Primacy. Um, actually, that's probably the best thing to do. Just because you get that forever, instead of these just lasting for two years. That's not bad. But, uh, what do we want to do? I really want to make sure our military is good. So if we do this one, I don't believe that we can go down this way. And I kind of want to go down Italy first. I don't want, we're going ahistorical. And I kind of want to see what happens if we do the Treaty of Chamberlain. So because we get Corsica, we get a core in Corsica. We get stability and political power. Um, we get the Latin axis, maybe something a little different. And the king will support us in this endeavor, which seems pretty nice. But eventually, we can probably maybe do this as well. We can join Latin schools. We can probably do this one as well. We need to be in a faction, get another research slot. And maybe we'll go to the Triumph of Fascism, because fascism is cool here, right? Totally. And eventually, I would like to do a leftist, like, socialist path as well sometime. But we'll see what happens. But after this one... Uh, and by the capitalist, none the line democratic, probably not going down that way. Best in the colonies. Wouldn't be bad. Um, Autarkia. Ooh, that's not bad either. I like that one too. However, these are 70 day focuses. This is a 35 day focus. I want to. What is that? Technology? Synthetic oil experiments. Nice. We can get that one done immediately. I, you know, honestly, you know what? The Regia Marina is probably going to get bombed all heck. And 70 day focused, but. Uh, I want to get that permanent bonus because you get more naval experience gain, dockyard output, and dockyard construction speed. It's probably a bad idea to do this, but I kind of want to start with this one. But let's go back up here. Screw it. We're going to go with more industry. I love industry. Uh, let's go industrial efforts. Uh, focus all our political efforts on building up the civilian industry and greatly forward. But so here we have the House of Savoy. The king's support is vital to our survival as a regime. Through our focus as a nation and our decisions, we must work to keep the king's favor unless he attempts to dismiss our government. If his opinion of the regime falls below 50%, he will dispose Mussolini. We won't go down without a fight, which will probably spawn us a war. So we need to conquer Abyssinia quickly. You are right to seek to avenge the humiliation of the first Abyssinian war. Now, end this war quickly and declare the Italian Empire. A protracted conflict with these barbarians will embarrass the kingdom of Italy. So if not completed, we'll, uh, it'll concern the king. And if we complete this within 180 days, uh, we'll please the king. Give Crown Prince Umberto Field Command. Becomes Field Marshal. Make Fernando Umberto Filippo Alberto an Admiral. Cool. 
Holy crap. So we have this stuff as well. Our armed forces must be ready, ready for total war. Our journals believe we can't be ready until 1942, but we will prove them wrong. We must reach 100% readiness through decisions and focuses. Right now, we're about 0% towards the goal. Going to war with a major nation before we are ready to result will result in a significant negative consequence. So prepare the military. We need 100% military readiness. Finish the Abyssinian War. The longer this, longer this war drags on, the greater toil it takes on our manpower and resources. We must end this war quickly so we can continue to build up. And if we complete this, we'll get more military readiness. Armored divisions. Armored warfare is not the future, it is the now. If we're to compete with the great powers, we must have enough armored divisions to combat their modern militaries. We get more, a lot more readiness. We need 10 armored divisions. Which means we're going to ma manipulate our armored divisions to be really small. Military factory buildup. We must be able to outproduce our enemies if we are to survive another great conflict. Nice. Uh, more military factories than the combined total of England and France. Holy crap. Or 90% of the military factories of Germany, which we won't probably be able to get to. Establish adequate fuel reserves. Waging total war will require significant amounts of fuel to power tanks, trucks, ships, and planes. We must accept now to store enough reserve to last multiple years if necessary. Which will not be too bad to do. Glory in for the MVSM. El Duce wants to prove the superiority of his fascist troops. And to make this point, he has tasked task us with winning the victory in Ethiopia, only using divisions that are majority black shirt in our offensive operations, which we're not going to be able to get done. I'll be honest here. As much as I want to do this, I just... The black shirt divisions are not as good as infantry divisions, which we'll look at just a little bit, but glory for the fascist divisions. El Duce wants to prove that fascism reigns supreme. To prove this, he has tasked us with securing the victory in Ethiopia using only fascist generals and field marshals. Infantry supplies. Any protracted war will prove to be a drain on equipment. Our infantry forces will need significant supplies if we're to carry out major military operations. You know what? Actually, for this one. Majority black shirt divisions in offensive combat. Uh, prioritize steel for guns. Interesting. Improve military readiness. Prioritize steel for ships. Prioritize aircraft production. Cool. Sack the old guard. Men like Marshal de Bonobo, or Bono, are limiting our efforts to be the greatest military in Europe. It's time for his elk to be silent so that new ideas can take place. Concerning the king, aftermath of the Christmas offensive. In uh, December 35, Ethiopia launched a major assault in the north, with the goal of splitting our forces into two. We withstood the attack and are ready to go on the offensive again with the help of the Forbidden Weapons. Um, I like Forbidden Weapons. March of the Iron Will. They're on the verge of collapse. We should finish the war with the Grand March and the capital to display the superiority of fascism. I like that. Uh, anything else? Pretty normal stuff. Remove Benito Mussolini. It's only a matter of time before Mussolini's arrogance and warmongering leads to the ruin of Italy. At the Grand Council of Fascism, who doesn't act to remove him, he'll have his eventual downfall bring the entire party, party with him. Nah, we're okay. Oh, invest in industrialization. Okay. Realize Roman ambitions, paramilitary training in the colony of Libya, Italia. Cool. So as you can see, we're already going on, and I know within seven minutes here, like, I've already talked a whole bunch. Um, actually, you know what? It might be a really bad idea to do this. What if? What if? Because I, I want to see if we can actually do this. Can we actually do this one? Well, security using majority black tier divisions in combat. You know, hold. Uh, maybe that was a bad idea. Because I want to use these guys. Because we have these guys. You know what? It's a bad idea. You're all black shirts for now. Go ahead. You know what? You two. You're all black shirts too. Even though you're literally in the middle of combat right now. But whatever. Use black shirts divisions. We'll see what happens. As we should have our planes down here very soon. And actually, you know what? Stop training because we don't have the fuel for this right now. Save a little bit on the fuel, because we need all the planes that we can get right now. I don't care about the couch dudes. All I care about is winning the god dang war, you son of a rock shocker. And we should be pretty good on uh, bombing the crap out of them. Uh, let's grab some more fuel, just in case. Oh, we literally have none. Okay, then. Yeah, let's grab some. Uh, Argentina. I don't want to support the allies, or what would be the allies, just yet. And this should just give some good army XP and stuff, too, so... Uh, give, actually, how much do we get every day? 1.21 is not too bad. Can we get more political power? That'd be great. And we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm. Uh, fascism, pretty cool stuff. Dino Grandi. I don't know that much about Italy at all, except they're very difficult to play as sometimes. But, that's okay. So, of course, yes. Adelci Serena. Victoria Emmanuel. Oh. Cool. Technocrat, huh? Are they doing force defense? Oh, yeah, these black shirts are just not great divisions to use. I'll just be honest here, man. They really are not. Oh! Stella Bacari? Um, she's a smoocher. Infiltration risk goes quite down. Do that. Help us uproot some of their entrenchment as well. Alright, so you guys are sucking pretty hard here. Expand the IRI. And let's go to industrial efforts. Yes. You guys are fine. You guys are. Well, disappointing me. You guys hold. You guys seem to be doing okay here, though. I want you guys to hold as well. I want you guys to support the attack here, actually. 
Boy, are we struggling or what? There you go. That's much better. These guys are doing quite well down here, though. Yeah, this is taking quite a few casualties compared to the 12,000 over there. Oh, boy. Give some more time. Give them more... Uh, and go there. Gundar. Let's go. We should have them done within 120 days. I'm not too worried about that. Sea monsters off the coast of the Italian Riviera? Local fishermen off the coast of northern Italy reported seeing humanoid-like sea monsters in the waters near a local fishing village in the R Italian Riviera. If, or Riviera. If the witnesses are to be believed, the monsters can dive out of the water are known to steal from the local boats. How terrible. Oh, how terrible, terrible, terrible. Are we out of guns already? God dang it. Italy, why? <laughs> Well, not, not like we're asking for that much, man. Cool. They attacking? Cool. Oh. That seems to be yeah, good. And I'll probably convert back to infantry, because I'll show you, like, these guys are just not as good as they should be. They're not as good as infantry, which sucks. Uh, do not attack there. I want you to hold. You can attack here. That's fine with me. Oh, are they attacking us? Oh, jolly good. He's gonna keep these guys in place? Oh, jolly good as well. Sack the old guard would not be bad. Um, I'd like to do this too. The king and his son have lobbied extensively to give Crown Prince Umberto field command of the Italian forces. And increase their support from the king. Not bad. How many more days do we have left for this war? Uh, 100. Well, technically, we wanted this one down here. Is it down here or is it the one above? Okay, it's up here. Okay. 90 days. Oh, we'll have them done within 90 days. Yeah, I'm not worried about that at all. Come on, big boys. Can't do it. If you want to attack, attack there then. God dang it. What am, do we lose a division? We might have lost a division here. That sucks. Uh, you guys are struggling a little bit. Um, I guess I want to attack the capital, I'll be honest. See what you can do about that. There you go. See what you can do. It's two efforts. Autarkia? Uh, best of the colonies? Let's do this one first. If the kingdom of Italy can only be great if it is self sufficient in all things, we must better develop our own resources and remove our dependency on foreign materials. Nice. You should be able to win. They did throw another division in there too, so. Oh, and we're out of fuel. That's not ideal. I'll get it from the US, why not? There we go. Now we should be able to bomb people pretty darn easily. That, yep, that's going to set us apart. Palestinian strike. Oh, boy, worth monitoring. Also, if you want to check out the the, the mod for yourself, it'll be in the description below. Um, honestly, usually I just like to directly annex them, but that's a lot more resistance. I'm not really sure what to do here. Is puppeting them better? Yeah, let's make a puppet. Maybe they have your own focus tree. Ethiopia Italiana was annexed, or I guess puppeted. Do they have focus tree? Bomber focus? Oh, they don't, but this generic focus tree is not terrible either. So, we finished Abyssinian War. Nice. We'll get black ship battalions will be upgraded. More political power. Improved military readiness by 5%. More political power. Improved military readiness by 5%. Um, anything else here? Oh, invite advisors. Ooh. Ernst Volkheim. Contract Amin al Husseini. We will reach out to the Grand Mufi Mufuti of Jerusalem and support him in his plans to defy British rule. Ooh. Kind of like that. Um, anything else here? So we should get those stuff done. Realize Roman ambitions. And, oh, King's Opinion is 80% now. Nice. Oh, look at that. No more international condemnations. Yay. 92% is pretty good, too. And we're 40% now. Now that's pretty nice. So we're feeling pretty good about that. You know what? I'm going to make a mistake here, eventually. So let's save the game. we got more political power. we got uh, quite a bit of army of speed. we lost quite a few guys, which does suck. But I'll show you right now. Um, for these divisions, this is the Black Tree Divisions. Are they better than infantry? Well, infantry does give it more organization and HP, and require less cost. But you do get some penalties there too. Hmm. Black shirts only in this campaign. We have a lot of no equipment, so yeah. For these infantry divisions, I don't know. Black shirts, you get more soft attack and suppression. All you get is a little more soft attack, and you lose use more equipment. You lose HP. What is this upgrade here that we said that, that they said that we get? What is the upgrade? Okay, so in 88 days, until the council did. Um, basic machine tools is nice. Don't get me wrong. I want that extra research slot as fast as possible, though. So you guys, uh, come up here. There you go. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see what happens first. So I want you guys to go up there. Let's join them up there. 
el re emperatore el e el fundatore del Perro, and the king emperor and the founder of the empire. Newspaper headlines herald the glorious conquest of Abyssinia and the reestablishment of the Italian Empire. The victory demands a public celebration. The king shall henceforth be known as the emperor of Abyssinia. Let the king enjoy the glory day. Declare El Duce first marshal of the empire. Hmm. Well, we do want to go... Where is it? Conquest of Abyssinia next, actually. Oh, we can form Italian East Africa. That's what we want to do. Treaty of Chamberlain. They have to be not communist. And have a really good opinion with us. Okay. Wait, what? 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 What are these guys doing? Revive the national block. That looks... That's a fascist non aligned route, right? I think it is. Should be. Um, I do want to do that one. R R protocols will be cool and all, but... Uh, Latin Axis. The king will support us later on. Uh, Triumph of Fascism, yeah. We'll do that one. Screw it, why not. Get more political power first. Party Secretary? Not bad. Oh, that's, that's, this guy's pretty good too. Tutilio Cianetti? Nice. I like silent level courses. Can we go to partial mobs? Oh my gosh, it costs so much. Oh my gosh, underdeveloped industry sucks so badly. Oh my goodness. Um, would it be worth going here? You get more fuel. Get more military. Yeah, I think we want to wait to get to here. It's not gonna take that much longer. 1.72 is pretty darn good to do, anyways. You guys are to the tanks. You guys are over there. Let everyone else train for now. I'm not sure we're gonna actually use the black shirts or not. We'll see what happens. And now you guys can train. Train until your heart's content. And use up all that fuel. We need to be oh, there you go. Partial mobilization's good. Yeah, was that worth it doing that? Maybe, maybe not, but we'll see what happens. Let's get some more army XP next. Yeah. Also, I don't want to forget that we do have puppets, so we should use a manpower, right? Someone is gonna tell me to do that, right? Oh, these divisions suck. Well, I'd rather have them than not have them, so. Actually. At least get, make bodies. We want at least some bodies here. And get him some support artillery and engineers. That's good enough for now. Train. Good enough for us for now. Uh, go right there. There you go. Cool. At least it's something. But, Autakia, or whatever you have to pronounce that, Conquest of Abyssinia. Failure in the first. First. Italian Ethiopian war has been a stain on Italian honor for 40 years. But achieving victory now, the stain will be removed and the strength of the iron will of fascism will be proven. We must implement the lessons learned from this conflict to improve our war-making capabilities. Yes. That would be wondrous. So we're 40% there. We need at least 36 infantry divisions. Um, 30,000 units of infantry equipment in the country. That's a lot to do, man. Construction, good. Synthetic oil experience. We don't need to do that one because we'll get that one later. Radio, radio, grand battle plan. There's a way to get more mobile warfare, but grand battle plan might not be bad for us. It's pretty good. I don't mind mobile warfare just because you can get quite a bit more population down here, which is pretty darn nice, but I guess we'll go grand battle plan for now. Train, 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 train. For aircraft production. Oof. You know what? Since we're here, we'll probably take one of these. Um, still for guns, we need more infantry equipment, we really do. Our army needs more guns, we must prioritize the production of infantry equipment. Ships. It is through naval power that we shall conquer our enemies, and we must therefore dedicate our resources to building a more powerful navy. Prioritize aircraft production. Our air force needs new planes if we are to compete in the skies with other European powers. We must dedicate our efforts to building as many planes as possible. We're going to do this one first. Then come back and do the other stuff later, probably. Nice. And as much as I want to do the Hour of Fate, we will do Italy first. Mussolini will never play second fiddle to Hitler. We must heed the lessons of the Roman Empire. Teutonic interference in Italian affairs will never ne will never end well. More political power, create our own faction, world tension decreases. Oh, Germany removes the Axis faction, becomes the Pact of Blood. He's a nationalistic warmonger. Huh. All right, interesting, different. I like it. So with extra guns, yeah, we just oh, guns. Jesus, so bad. All right, so where are these tank tank templates? Because for this thing, at least ten armor divisions. Leadership purchases are nice. Armor warfare is not the future; it is now. All the following ones which you has researched: M16 Saharino, containing light tanks. Has issues Fiat and has a division. At least one of the following must be true. Okay, M16s, um, Fiat Air heavy tanks. At least a lot of tanks. At least 151 sword and stockpile. So at least 10 armor divisions. So if we remove stuff there, we could probably do well with it, but Italy first. 
Um, I really don't want to cut down this division to nothing. Because that's a lot of army XP wasted. So... <coughs> How much motorized do we have? We have a little bit. And some tanks. I don't want to just remove it. I'd rather just throw on more motorized. Go six, four-ish. Remove that. Remove. And throw on the tanks there. You'll need more tanks, but you'll need less infantry equipment, which is good. Four, six, I don't know. This is not a terrible division, but it's not great. Where was this? Let's see. For an influence. No, 80% is not bad. Oh, for Italian East Africa. We've connected the regions of Ethiopia, Somaliland, and Eritrea. For efficiency, we should put them under one administrative control. Our holdings in the Horn of Africa will be consolidated into a new colony called Africa Orientale Italiano. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome, actually. Ooh, what does that do with our division template? Yeah, we must use... Oh, can we not use these guys? Maybe give them a day. Um... Uh, what happens if we just get rid of these guys? It's fine. Get rid of that. Will that improve? No? Okay, so we can't... Oh, that sucked. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, my bad. Uh... There's Libya. Oh, are we max... Are we the max amount of... We can, can't do this? We might be the max amount of divisions we're training right now. Do they even need focus tree? Hello, Petrio Badoglio. Oopsie. Not, not you. Begin reconstruction. Yeah, they do. Look at that. Well, maybe sort of. Nuova Roma. Nice. I get a research slot, too. <coughs> um, where are you guys at? You guys are okay. Well, we're going to need some armor. God dang it. What's over here? Oh, because it's slightly cheaper. Italy first. So now... So we need... It's not communist. And at least 45. So let's spend on some of our PP and increase our relations. In the meantime, we can revisit the Rome Protocols. We can do a Mediterranean on top. I don't really feel like doing that one. Where's the 35-day focus? Oh, right here. Compliance. Because we do want to prospect for oil. We want to do Albanian refineries, Libyan refineries. Um... Our fourth shore. Ooh, we can just annex them. And we can hoard them. Ooh. Synthetic fuels. 35 day focus, but that's not bad. We get a design company here, too. That's not bad either. Uh, Ballo Apino, defend the skies. Defend the coasts. Fortress Sicily. Oh, remove underdeveloped industry. Bella Italia. That We get another research slot, too. Ooh. Um, let's do Italian highways then. We need to expand our infrastructure and ensure the easy mobility of troops throughout our empire. But that means that every corner of our world, this is a crucial part of being able to defend all Italian soil. Oh, nice. We actually have another division here. Good. It's not great, but whatever. Yeah, it's pretty god awful. Wait, a Greek civil war. Oh, yeah, that's a case. Can we send volunteers? They're on a line. Oh, god, we hate both sides then. Dead to the IFC. Oh, I don't care. Like, I don't care for either side. But we need army XP. We really do. I'm not going to send tanks here. Take some dude. Take, uh, you. Ugo. Honestly, I don't want the Democratic side to win, so. Because you are not aligned. These guys, actually, not, not, not Boris, god dang it. Uh, you guys. I'd rather have the generic focus tree. I'd rather have it, because that's, well, maybe not. They both have the same stuff. I'd rather not align. Screw it, whatever. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm going crazy. There you go. We'll, we'll have to edit those divisions, too. Planes, 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 planes. Train. Factory bombers, fighters, and you lower it by 80. Or 280. There you go. There you go, nice. Uh, do this. There you go. Good enough. Train. Cool. Uh, I don't want to train you guys. I'd rather train the other group. Ah, screw it. Train anyways. Bomb the crap out of them. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. We're here for the arm XP. And able... Ooh, look at this stuff. Light aircraft mobility. I think we'll continue down Grand Battle Plan, though. Fleet Bing. 
250 is so much. Mobile warfare. Well, there's nothing for just for a generic land doctrine, apparently, so. Well, we need that army XP. Look at that, nice. Alright, where are the boys at? You might just be able to do really well down there. Don't lose Athens, boys. Logistics. Yeah. Italian highways. And are we there yet with France? Yeah. Treaty of Chambéry. Le Chambéry. The French government is open to a treaty that will end the tensions between our nations in exchange for military alliance. The French will return our rightful land in Corsica while granting us control over the certain territories in North and East Africa. Factor cause. The German Reich betrayed our cause. Treaty of Chambéry. The king will support us. Beautiful. Investment in the new colony in Italian East Africa is our jewel on a recent conquest. Without our help, the colony won't be able to survive. Should we invest in it? Oh, wait, we will shall invest in a new conquest. We get political power. And they get four civvies? Um Okay. Invite British advisors. Uh Okay. I mean that seems pretty good, right? We can oh we can remove Mussolini. Okay. But do I want to remove him? That's a real question. Do I want to remove him? Not really. No, honestly, no, not really. Mm. Royal Corps of Colonial Troops. We must assemble armed forces of Libyans to fight for Italy. Losing Africa will mean the end of our colonial armies. Well, crap. Disperse industry. Nice. We could grab some of that stuff. Because better planes. Yeah, that'd be good. Get as much army XP as you possibly can. Learn. Learn, Ugo. Learn. If you get there, you can still go and destroy them. Yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We're losing 10%, huh? That's Steve Fuller. If you can win here, that is guaranteed these divisions will die. Hmm. I want to get this guy down here. Industry Reformer seems pretty darn decent. Nice. Thessalonica? Thessaloniki? Good. So far, so good. Pretty nice. 50%. Prepare the military. Alright, so since we're getting a slightly more army XP, I don't mind doing this. Maybe cutting these guys down. Uh, and then making these guys. Screw it. Makes it super easy to make. There you go. Make these guys. Uh, we, we have... How many, how many tank divisions? Tanks. Divisions we have. Three. So we need seven. Here, do that. Rapid production on those. Get them, just get them done. Just get them done. It's doing great. A little bit of struggle never hurt anybody. Except to kill some people, but whatever. Yeah, we have to be at war for that. We should have done that earlier, but whatever. Um, I do want to go to war economy, which looks a little better. 187 is better than 200 some. Captain of industry is not bad either. I always like that one too. Air base, chief of the police, naturalist. Ah, Spain! What do we have for industries? Anything special? Not too much. Nothing too, yeah, nothing too unique here, which is still disappointing, but hey, that's okay. Mod stone development. I'm not going to treat them poorly because it's my first time playing this, so. Very excited to see what this has in store. I don't know, should I use black shirts the entire time or should I not use black shirts? What happened to the Spanish Civil War? This looks so bad. Uh, well, we got three tank divisions, and these guys are the okay tank divisions, so. Head on over, boys. Head on over. With no fuel. Uh, you, you, and I'll send you two. Oh, wait, no. Uh, you keep training. You, actually, everyone, you, you all, honestly, you should keep training. We got the tax, got the fighters. And let's stop. Actually, can we get import some more fuel from anybody of our puppets? No. Alright. Nice. And finish them off right there. You go ahead down here too. Oh, we lost you lost Athens, you ding dongs. Come on, man. Oh! Hello! Well the Germans killed themselves anyway, it's nice. Uh, what is this? Improve military readiness and purchase artillery. Befriend Romania. Secure the French state during the Civil War. Befriend Portugal. The Latin Axis. Assume the army burden. 
Recru Whoa! Recruitable population goes up by 3% more. Wow. Uh, let's do this up first. Befriend Portugal and stuff. I think this would be good to do. Um, Befriend Portugal. Portugal is along with Spain, neutral, natural allies of the Italian people. We must strengthen these bonds of friendship. Because so, I don't want to get as much influence into those guys as possible. But this is good as well. Uh, I want to do that, but oh, we need to industrialize as fast as possible, too. Mezzogiorno. A great divide exists between northern and southern Italy, economically. Industrialization is not coming to the Mezzogiorno. That must change. By investing in our new infrastructure, we can expand the economic opportunities for the people. Nice. Well, then. Treaty of Chamberlain. Today is a historic day. The Kingdom of Italy and France have signed a historic treaty in the city of Chambéry. Located in the historical region of Savoy, this term of the treaty will see Italy take control of the island of Corsica along with certain regions of North and East Africa. While the deal is being celebrated in, as a political victory for Benito Mussolini, the reaction in France is one of shock. Citizens are taken to the streets in mass protests, demanding the resignation of Prime Minister Pierre Laval. While this treaty may ensure great peace between the two powers, it seems unlikely to set off a significant instability in France. Yay! Well. Wow. Um, cool. Foreign influence. Uh, can we actually just give this to, like, Libya Italiana? Hmm. Big sadness. So I'm out of Italy. I'm out of Italy? No, I'm out of, uh, coffee. There you go. Pursues. Oh, oh crap, that's not good. Political crisis in France. Oh no, what are you doing, France? We'll guarantee them, though. We got a lot of pee pee. I love it. Um, get this guy. Actually, no, we wanted to go to War Economy. This is our first, yeah. So we can build a little bit more. That ain't much, but it's honest warfare? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, let's come up here. Maybe we can surround and divide these guys up. Might be smarter to actually try to save these divisions, but whatever. We'll try our best to get over there. Oh! Hello! French Republic. Well, I guess we're sending you new volunteers as well, then. We're sending a lot of volunteers out right now. Black shirts. I mean, what's... I mean, that just makes sense to send black shirts to help out that part of France, right? Uh, who do we want to send? Carlo. Um... Almost 200. The Revolution of France. Is this the end of the Third Republic? This calls for bold action. And we love bold action. How are we doing down here? Doing okay? Can you guys actually win here? Eh, you might be able to, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Alright, well. There you go. Good job, guys. You know what? Screw you guys go down here, too. You guys actually should... Uh, no, no. I want you here. Go that way. There you go. Give us one more day, and we'll grab this guy. Go. Build, 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 please. Oh, have you guys showing up? Nice. Oh, you're up there, too. Oh, that sucks. Well, any more field marshals? We've really gotten ourselves into one heck of a mess, man. Ah, uh, yes, please. Oh, wait, they're all based up there. Oh. Oh, nice. You just go there. Maybe. Maybe not. Where are our planes? Here, come up here. Help us get guys up first. Actually, it probably makes more sense to leave this guy down there first, but then again, we have these guys down here too. Um, go right here. Cut him off, cut him off. Uh, I'm not worried about those encircled divisions. I really don't care, I'll be honest. Oh, we're about to get encircled here, too. Well, that's great. That's great, yeah. Oh, they got Athens back. Good job, guys. Hey, he's learning. He's pretty good in defense, though. Oh, nice. Argos. I guess he's doing okay here. Well, I love my tanks. I'm not feeling too bad if we do that. I'm feeling pretty bad about this, though. You guys get together do that? How's Spain doing? Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Hurry up. They want to delete our divisions? We'll delete their divisions. Yay! Oh, so we did that one now. Let's come back over here and befriend, 
intervention in Spain. Spain is in the midst of a civil war, which will determine whether it will be a future possible fascist ally or remain a useless republic, or worse yet, fall to communism or anarchy. We must provide support to the true Spaniards before it's too late. Nice. It reduces our military readiness by a little bit, but whatever. That's okay. We've got time. Ooh, intervention. Invest in industrialization of Abruzzo. Weeks of the industry bonus. Oh, we gotta wait. Oh my gosh, we have to wait so long. Polish Romanian Alliance. Alright, so be it. Um, how much arty? We have no arty. Okay, then. That's pretty bad. Get some more of that. Get some more of that. You guys are doing relatively okay down there, so I'm not super worried about that. Get some of that, too. Happy 37, everybody. Wow, these guys are just not giving up a lot of fight. Force it. Hey! One of those areas is done now, finally. Well, it's either win or die. And they're gonna die, so... Come on. Nice. Uh, carriers would be nice, but let's grab some more industry. We need more output. We gotta get more output right now. I was learning. Good job, guys. Good job. Join back into the main group. There you go. Better fighters? Yes, please. Can we actually go down? We're already on limited exports. God dang, that sucks. Anything else? Align national Spain would be pretty good, but let's go ahead and uh, oh, secure the French state. France is in chaos, and chaos is the latter. Elements within France are prepared to move swiftly with their support to end this rebellion and install a fascist regime. We love fascism here. Are you guys done yet? Killing these guys? Come on. Should be done by now. Oh, look at this, National Spain. We are committed to the, to the success of National Spain and support the efforts to establish fascist control over the Mediterranean. Doing so comes at a cost. The many material we commit are resources that will not have the we will not have available to us later on. However, that much is to be gained. Our commitment will buy us influence with the military junta. Right now, we have five influence in total. This influence can be used to secure commitments from National Spain that will serve interest during the Spanish Civil War. Other nations may react strongly to this. Volunteers and, uh, volunteers and material support is not enough. The time has come to officially join the fight, come what may. Escalated involvement. It is imperative that National Spain is triumphant in this war. To ensure the victory, we must increase our involvement by spending more men and material to Spain. Mm. Reduce military readiness, though. Increase our influence. Bombers for Spain. We will be able to take this decision four times in total. Help ensure victory for National Spain. We will send them some of our SM.81 Pepestrello bombers. Oh, sure. Deploy the Dragons de la Merta. Uh, Arcono, Arcono Valdo Bonacorsi, a devoted fascist, is prepared to form a unit of Spanish national to help crush the Republican menace. Dockyard support for national Spain, the Navy's ships that are needs of refitting. Military Junta has asked to support our spear dockyard to retrofit and upgrade their fleet, or re refit. Nice. Subs for national Spain. The leadership of the national, sp uh, the national, sp national Spain has requested a small submarine fleet in order to interact but interdict the flow of foreign materials, uh, volunteers in the Republic of Spain. I don't want to reduce our military readiness at all too much, so. Death of Antonio Gramsci. One of the leading fought intellectuals of Italian communism, Antonio Gramsci died yesterday after a long decline in himself following his imprisonment by the Italian fascists under Mussolini. An inspiration to communists everywhere, Gramsci was considered a brilliant mind and a strong proponent of non-Soviet style communism. His death is sending shockwaves throughout the youth in Italy that admired his revolutionary thinking. Another dead commie. Just another dead commie. That's all it is. Alright, so we're going to attack. Uh, do we have planes somewhere here? We have hills, which sucks. Um, yeah, those guys all died down there. I want. I really do want to rescue these guys. Those mountains. Burgos. we got to go Burgos. They are attacking us. Oh, they actually navally invaded Dunkirk. Wow. Come here. Calais would be nice. Uh, anyone else here? Mm, propaganda master. Civilian factory construction would be so nice to get. And more research speed too, but... Uh, research slot would be pretty good too. I think we'll go with uh, this guy first. Where is it? Let's go with that guy for now. It's fine. It's going one on all cities at all times. Okay, you guys are there. Almost, almost, almost. Oh, we only 160, huh? I'm gonna wait. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
Can we do well here, maybe? Yes. Maybe. Definitely doing well up here. Oh, there goes Mexico, too. Huh. Grand opening of the Cinecita Studios. Benito Mussolini was beaming with pride yesterday as he marked the grand opening of the Cinecita Studios in Rome. The studio will now show fascist propaganda to films as well as other future films as hope that it will provide a spark to the struggling Italian film industry. Let's go to the movies. We're taking you guys out of the movies. You, me, and all a good time. Nice. Overall, I feel like we're not really getting far enough yet, especially for this stuff, Spanish Civil War. Our military support for national Spain is draining our resources. The generals believe a prolonged involvement in the conflict will significantly damage our ability to wage offensive wars in the future. We'll see. And befriend these guys too. And I've got to keep an eye on this stuff down here too. Uh, this stuff. 19 days left. Bombers for national Spain. Sure. Philip Pétain assumes control of the war hero and marshal of France. Philip Pétain has assumed control of the government of Paris. With support from the military and new allies in victory, this new government expects a quick, decisive victory over the radical elements that have emerged. Wait. We. Wait, what? Wait, why do we join? What? Wait, why do we join? What? Do we fail this then? We join them. Uh. I, I, I guess we're at war. Schnikes. I don't know we're supposed to do that, but okay. Republic. Uh. All right. Grand battle plan's nice. Get some prepared defenses too. Uh. Well, that's unexpected. Campania. So actually, we come down here. So they have this modifier, weak southern industry, which sucks. I mean, this is great for getting more air and army XP, but still, bro. Um, I'll throw you guys just right here. There you go. Doing more planes, not too many. There you go. Uh. There you go. Where's their capital? Oh, it's still up there. Oh my gosh, it's still up there, isn't it? Well, you guys won. Congrats, I guess. Can we get military access? I mean, that would probably help us out quite a bit more. Nice. I'm okay. Um, we want to edit these divisions too, they're just not good enough. Uh, go artillery, go art. Yeah, that's too much artillery. Infantry, you can use a mixture probably, that's fine. Go 18, get some uh, support already. Fine, there you go. Much better. Befriend Portugal, oh! Some of these same divisions that are god awful. And then befriend Romania. Latin access will be nice. Uh, King will support us. According to industrialization, since we're behind in terms of industrialization, we'll need help from our allies. In turn, we can help them in different fields. Pretty much, man. Well, I guess we're going to Cali. 1.68. Bombers? Yeah, there you go. 35 influence is not bad. I wonder what we can do with that, though. Can we just go to war with them? Go in. Yeah. Uh, this is really unfair. <laughs> this is incredibly unfair, but whatever. Okay, we'll take. Okay, then. We're back at peace. We are independent for now, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, oh, nice. Well, we're going back to National Spain, I guess. Wow, we can send them six divisions now. Do we dare send them these god awful tank divisions? I really want to send them those tank divisions here. You know what? Here. There you go. You can send these guys. Um there you go. Oh, that's seven. Whoops, my bad. Take you out. There you go. Train. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. Why not? Medium bomber transports. Oh, you can almost an 80 now? Bro. Bro, that sucks. 
Steel for guns. Infantry equipment is more than... Well, it's okay-ish right now. Ships? Planes. Um, honestly, we could use more planes. How is the Navy looking? Get one thing of chromium. Just one thing, though. Not two. And we need more steel. Jeez, Italy's just so... No, it's not enough for us. It's just nothing... Nothing, nothing enough. Going to. Oh! Oh! Military Junta. Okay. Well, they did well, too. I guess. I definitely not plan on that one. Um, there you go. Goodbye, Amelia Earhart. Hannibal Xanter. Oh, well. There you go. Now we can get really involved. You know what? I want Balbo here. I want lots of Balbo in my life. Nothing like a good Balbo. Uh, uh, they have a blessing? Nah, we're okay. We don't want you to be too rebellious in Crete. 45 influence is not bad. Good, good. Um, Alright, yeah. Hello. You dare try to attack us. You shall fail. Actually, is he under a foreign influence yet? No. That's fine. All right. Um, they're still attacking pretty darn harshly. So let's see what happens. Ah, uh, we're winning. Uh, yeah, not bad. They're attacking right there. Yeah, that's pretty bad right now. They are attacking with some pretty darn strong ferocity. Uh, anything else? Oh, we can purchase some stuff. The industry is underdeveloped and cannot produce modern weapons at an acceptable rate. We must look abroad for more industrial countries that can supply us with the military equipment we need. Infantry equipment is okay. Uh, purchase artillery. How much do we get? We do give them a civvy. Uh, 200 pieces of artillery based on research. Honestly? I do it once. We are in dire need of artillery to build as we rebuild our military. The Americans are willing Americans are willing to send us impressive weapons, but we must choose which ones. We can strike a deal with artillery or anti-air. Uh, befriend Romania. It will be in our best interest to bring our distant kindred and Romania into our sphere of influence. El Duce sees great potential in their iron guard. Alright. They respond to our proposal. We will receive word from Philip Paton that his nation is prepared to join us in an ambitious project. That's so yellow I can't see it. Let the work begin. Okay. Oh, join industry. In securing the future of the Kingdom of Italy, will require a robust investment in military industry. Benito Mussolini has signed on to an ambitious industry project to rebuild factories and other facilities necessary to reach the war. By increasing your investment, will yield great rewards. Right now, we'll get three military factories. Wow. Wait. In 89 days, French Somalia land. Look at that. Uh, is it in increase it? Try it out. Why not? We got four days left here, too, which is pretty good, too. Um, can I win here? No. Oh, they got some Soviet boys there, too. Okay, this might be a little difficult to win here. Oh, boy. When do we need win by? Oh, uh, we got some time, I think. Yeah. There's just some days, yeah. Are we actually losing? Well, I think I should really go right there. There you go. A little better. Do anything there, nothing I really care about. Well, I can de definitely tell you that these guys are learning quite a bit. And normal Spain is not feeling too grandiose. Um, there you go. Navy's okay. Going to need some uh, planes and stuff. Holy crap, they're getting whacked hard. It's not ideal. Nice, there you go. Good friend Romania. Latin access. Oh. Uh, we need a better relationship with Portugal then. That's fine. Assume the army burden. Uh, we could use those factories as fast as possible. Even if we don't have uh, 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 the manpower, even if our population is reluctant, we need to be the back, the actor on all war fronts. Portugal, would you like a good old relationship with us? Of course you would. Let's improve our relations with you right now. How are we losing? These guys are ready to kill off all of their manpower. You have like none. 
Where is... You are not Francisco Franco. Where is my Franco? Five mi Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, don't want to forget this one too. Gotta go through that stuff as fast as possible. 45 is not bad. My goodness. You are learning so much. Level three. King's man, huh? Cavalry leader. Would never expect that. We have full fuel, so you guys come over here, do that, and do that. Thank you. Wow, we're, uh, we actually lost a tile. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Natural Spain? What the heck? Oh my goodness, this is so bad. Natural Spain died, basically. What? Oh my... Oh, so now we have to do... Well then, I think we lost this one. Well, I'm gonna wait till these guys get back. I might have to replay this just a wee bit, just because uh, this, this is getting a little funky. This is getting a little too funky for me personally. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I might do, edit some things off screen now. You never know. Uh, nice. Keep making more civvies, civvies though. Uh, maybe, there we go. Yeah. Oh, at least these guys killed each other too. At least it all broke apart. And not just the one side of four hours that broke apart. Just as, as everybody. Such a gigantic mess. Oh, I guess in seven divisions, whatever. Um. Oh my God. Are you kidding me, bro? Well, this is such a mess. <laughs> Join industrial projects, we get five milli, millis, nice. This one, we can get some more stuff too. But do we need more guns? Honestly, like, we're actually running out of guns. How? Oh. We need more support equipment and planes. Uh, there you go. Share the wealth, I guess. Honor our commitment to the Spanish directory. But we couldn't do anything. We had to do the Carlos Spanish. Uh, well, maybe I did do the wrong group. Yeah, this makes literally no sense. Um, hmm. Well then. Yeah, finish the Spanish Civil War. Okay, so maybe I sent to the wrong group. Well, whatever. I'll send to the other group off screen. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do the Army Burden. And we'll probably do the Latin Axis as well. We share a common history and a common faith. Now let us share in the spoils of war. To all fellow Latin friends, it is right that we stand shoulder to shoulder, which would be nice, and we get make sure we're not in war when you do this one. And then follow it up, we'll probably do this one, Ria Academia de Italia, just because we want another research slot. Three is not enough. Our scientific advancement were made into fascism. We must fund the academy further. The funds will help Italy take the great leap forward. But I think I'm going to end here for today. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what you think so far of this campaign, because this is getting really funky and odd. But I'm enjoying it, seeing all the different things you might be able to do, and the different paths that Italy can take. But thank, you, thank you very much for watching, guys and everybody. China gave up on a lot of the territory, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll figure out if we can make this any better. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!